Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. Today I wanted to go over one of my favorite pieces of UFO footage that is featured in my YouTube documentary, The Beings From Beyond. In this video, what you see, I couldn't actually see as it was happening. All I saw was the light in the center of the frame that I was tracking. And I couldn't really see the, any of the other lights um, in the picture. The camera is much more sensitive to light than the human eye. I think the ISO setting that I had on that camera was at 6400, which was the maximum you could go to uh, in video mode. It was the Panasonic G85 camera, and I was rocking the 7 Artisans uh, 35mm f1.2 lens. Now you can see in the video when this mysterious object pops in a frame in the upper left portion of the picture. Um, it, it pops in a frame and stops and then starts moving downward, which isn't really down. It's down in the frame, but I'm like I have the camera pointed directly above me, so it's not actually moving down. It's more moving west. <laughs> and you know what I mean? So it moves, starts moving down to the bottom of the frame, and you can actually see a bug that uh, flew closer to the camera right across the frame basically you can see it's like a blurry thing that quickly passes by um, to give you an example of what a bug looks like as opposed to what these things are um, but anyways that bug appears and then what you also see is a weird flash of light that looks like a meteor or something i don't know if it's related at all i can't say it's a ufo or a craft of any kind but there there's a lot going on in this video clip so you have the main light i'm tracking and then this mysterious ufo that comes in at the top left and starts moving down and then you have the bug flying and then you have this weird meteor thing that happens really really fast and then you can also see coming from right to left there's another ufo type light orb like light that looks almost exactly like uh the object that's coming from the left you can see they look almost identical um, but the one that is just kind of passing through and doesn't really do anything crazy it looks a little bit further away to me but other than that they seem pretty much the same in appearance obviously it's hard to tell there's not really any detail they just look like orbs it's really hard to get a sense of distance just by watching the video but this stuff like when you're watching it in person it doesn't seem very far away like it doesn't seem like they're satellites at all you're looking at it and you really feel like they're quite close in some of my other pieces of ufo footage it's much easier to tell just based on the angle that i'm shooting at that they're a lot lower in altitude than like a satellite a lot of these things are below the cloud level you know i have one piece of footage of an orb flying directly into a cloud so you can tell they're not satellites uh, but i kind of got into the habit of filming everything that i saw whether it be a satellite or not because you never knew what was going to happen when you were rolling the camera in this instance i just saw that main light and i was tracking it and I didn't know that this other object came in from the left and would pull these maneuvers around the object I was filming, which is why I don't react to it at all. I'm just tracking that main light because that's all I saw. So I just kept tracking that thing, not knowing that this other object was pulling these crazy maneuvers around it. And it clearly like flies up to it. It goes down to the bottom of the frame and then it flies back up to the light I'm tracking, stops, goes down, stops, and then continues on to the upper right portion of the frame where it stops again and then it uh, takes off from there clearly not an airplane right clearly not a bug <laughs> nothing explainable and at the end of this video i put the full clip in like the unedited clip with no color correction or anything uh, with the sound you can see like you can't hear these things um, they don't make any any noise at all um, But it's pretty wild like They're not satellites. They're not satellites. They're lower in altitude, but what are they? They seem to be orb like in appearance. They're not your typical flying saucer There's something else, but there's obviously an intelligence to them to be able to fly like that 
and you don't see aircraft pulling maneuvers like that. <laughs> like these are genuine UFOs. They're, they're something from another world or another reality. They're not bugs. They're not birds. Is it a drone? People would argue that because that's the only other thing it could be, but they make no sound. And um, I don't know, flying drones around in this part of the city, like there's a lot of aircraft that fly over. I don't know what the laws are in that area for flying drones, especially at that altitude, but I have lots of pieces of video of aircraft flying around um, this part of the city, like right over my building. Uh, so you wouldn't want to be flying a drone around. <laughs> they usually don't let you fly drones around where there's like planes that always fly over helicopters that are flying around. A lot of time there'd be like police helicopters flying around and whatnot. And you can see in these examples of video, there's, you know, airplanes flying right over top of the building. And in the one video I have, you actually have an airplane flying and then a triangular shaped UFO craft flying right behind it. That can't be a drone, you know, especially when you look at the size of it. But this was something that I didn't even notice until I had the footage on the computer and I was scrolling through it to see what I got. So I would film whatever light I saw flying around, I would just turn the camera on and film and track it, because you never know. And I would go on the computer afterwards and I'd go through all the footage. I would turn up the exposure and whatnot so I could see everything. And I would just go through each clip one by one and see what I could find. So after I recorded this piece of video, I had the idea in my head that I should record everything because maybe what these things are, because they kept showing up over and over again above my place, like maybe they know when I have that camera pointed up at the sky, maybe they know when I'm tracking something. So maybe if I track every light I see, they'll come into frame and, and maybe they'll do something. They'll make their presence known. But this main light I'm tracking, I never got the sense that they were satellites. Like to me, like being on location and seeing it in real life, they, they didn't seem like satellites. They, they seemed like orbs. They seemed like the other examples of orbs that I filmed. Um, so sometimes it would be hard to tell, but you know, satellite or not, I would just film everything just because you never know what you'd find later on the computer. But what in the sky moves like this, you know? It can fly around and stop very precisely you know, on a dime, and then it can travel in the opposite direction and then stop again and go back up. Like, I wonder if these two objects also were the same type of thing or the same type of being, or if they were from, like, if they, let's say they were aliens, okay? I wonder if they were from the same, I guess, race or faction, you know? And the one was checking the other one out. Because these things are, are different than a lot of the other things I film too. Like these orbs don't appear to be blue like the other orbs I film. They just look white, and they are not the same as those bird-like things um, that I filmed uh, that I featured in my last UFO video. They're they're totally different than that. These are like I don't know what these are. These are strange. These to me are genuine UFO objects or UAPs. Like this is legit. And I just kind of, with, with this video, I kind of lucked out. Cause like I said, I didn't know what was going on while I was filming it. Um, so the, when you're out looking for UFOs, if you're trying to investigate the subject, maybe you're doing CE5 practices or whatnot. If you see anything, you should film it because you never know what's gonna happen. Just don't post everything until you know, until you have something really compelling. To me, this seems like a genuine otherworldly craft or being. I don't know if it's a craft, like, because you're not seeing anything metallic or anything, right? You're seeing an orb, you're seeing light. Is it a UFO craft, like a saucer that's just kind of barely kind of peeking into this reality? So you're just seeing it as light? Is it just barely in this reality? Or is it here as that form, as like a light orb? I don't know. But you can obviously tell this is nothing of the natural world, like in the sense of an animal or a bird or anything like that, or a bug. This is something 
with, you know, the ability to <laughs> fly in a way that we haven't been able to fly in yet, at least that we know of. Um, I mean, it's either a UFO, it's either some sort of drone, which, you know, I, I don't know. It's not making any noise. Usually dr drones are quite loud. And like I said, flying a drone in this area of the city, I don't know if you're even able to. A lot of drones that you buy, they actually don't let you fly in areas where planes are supposed to be flying over. They'll actually, they won't let you take off. I know like DJI drones, they'll limit the areas that you can fly in. I don't know, it's either a UFO, it's either a drone, or it's like a hologram of some kind. <laughs> or, you know, is this alien or is it part of this agenda you hear of like the government staging a ufo invasion i don't know i feel like it's alien but that's just because i'm really into the subject so i'm kind of biased towards that and this is just one thing that happened one experience um in a whole year's worth of experiences so Check out the documentary if you haven't watched it yet, The Beings From Beyond. It's here on the YouTube channel, not that far back, and you'll get a greater sense of everything that happened. And you can see all the other examples of UFO footage that I filmed. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. Like I said, this is my favorite piece, I think, of UFO footage that I have filmed. Just because it's so clear, and I got it in 4K, and it's like, it's pulling maneuvers that you don't see things pull in the sky. So, I don't know. I think it's great. I think it's really good. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you next time on Mountain Beast Mysteries.